Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my monthly favourites for the month of March. So I have some skincare, some makeup, some perfume and some lifestyle favourites. So if you guys are interested to see what I was loving in the month of March then just keep watching. So the first product that I actually want to talk about is this Living Proof Restore and Mask Hair Treatment. So I picked this up from Sephora while I was in Hawaii so you actually can't get this in Australia which I know is really frustrating but um, I did want to share it with you guys because this has made my hair feel so good so clean I actually use it in replacement of my um, conditioner so I'll use it once or twice a week I'll just shampoo my hair and then go in with this mask and I'll leave it in for about five or ten minutes wash it out and my hair is just so silky and it just feels so clean and so refreshed so yeah I've really been enjoying that the smell is just oh my god it smells so good I can't really describe what it smells like it's just really I don't know, it just smells so good. <laughs> so the next two things that I want to talk about are these two face masks that I picked up from Lush. So this one is the Just To Clarify Jelly Face Mask with Papaya, Bamboo, and Fresh Orange. And the other one is the uh, Bunny Moon with honey and calming infusion of chamomile i've really been enjoying these so i do have dry and sensitive skin this one would definitely be my favorite out of if i had to pick out of the two so i just like to apply this leave it on for five to ten minutes and then i wash it off and my skin feels really smooth really hydrated and really refreshed so i have really been enjoying both of these masks Next is this Bare Minerals Oil Obsessed Total Cleansing Oil. So I just use this to cleanse my face while I'm in the shower. So first I'll go in with a makeup remover wipe. And then when I jump in the shower, you just apply this to your damp face. Rub it in, get all that excess makeup and oil off. And then you jump in the shower. You can also add some water and it makes it into like a milky consistency. And then you just wash it off. Because I do have dry skin, I quite enjoy this one as it is um, an oil-based cleanser. So it doesn't feel like it strips my skin or leaves it feeling dry. So next up we have the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Moisture Cushion. Now I just like to apply this at night time before I go to bed and in the morning as well. Usually I will just put this on when I wake up and then I will wait five minutes and then I'll go in with my foundation. I don't find that it disturbs my makeup throughout the day. Some moisturizers that I have used in the past I find will um, disturb my foundation but this is a really good one and I have found that it doesn't do that. It's just like a gel consistency. It's really cooling on the skin and really um, moisturizing as well. Next up we have this Burt's Bees Lemon Butter and Cuticle Cream. So I do get really dry hands especially the skin around my nails as well. Um, so at my job I do require to wash my hands quite a bit so they do tend to dry out um, more often than they should so I just use this before I go to bed I just apply it on my fingernails it's really thick I wouldn't probably use it during the day because it is quite a thick consistency but I just put it on each fingernail before I go to bed and then when I wake up in the morning the skin around my nails is so much better I've been using this for about three weeks now and I've seen massive improvements in my hands next up I have a perfume favorite this is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle perfume I actually received this as a gift from my boss um, on the Christmas just passed and I've only recently just started using it. I absolutely love the smell. It's just it's really fruity and fresh and very it smells very grown up which is why I like it this is also one of those perfumes where if you just spray it once or twice it seems to last the whole day sometimes I do have a problem with perfumes not sticking to my skin or they'll smell really good at the start and then about an hour or two later I can't smell it but with this perfume I can smell it all day the scent is so strong but it's it's really nice as well so next up I have the wet n wild photo focus foundation in the shade ivory sorry in the shade nude ivory i've recently been loving this foundation it is a really good shade for my skin the coverage is flawless it just makes my skin look really airbrushed and nice um i did pick this up while i was in hawaii so i know that you cannot get this in australia i'm not too sure if that you can purchase it online so you could probably look into that if you were interested in trying this but yeah i've really been loving this foundation okay next up i have these two customized palettes from australis so this one i have um some blushes and a highlight in and then this one has eyeshadows and and a contour shade in there as well so these are new to the drugstore with only in the last month or so I believe um, so pretty much what you do is you go in they have like a stand there you pick out the shades that you want so they have eyeshadows blushes highlights cream contour cream bronzer cream setting powders like everything like that and you just get the palette individually it just comes um, blank and the shadows are actually 
and the blushes are magnetic so you just pick out what you want and then you can create your own eyeshadow palettes so i think that's a really cool idea and it's available locally at the drugstore next up i have this mascara from essence this is the volume stylus 18 hour curl and hold mascara with micro styling waxes i don't know what it is about this mascara but it is five dollars from priceline and it is one of the best mascaras that i have used it is really lengthening really black as well and it gives a lot of volume to the lashes this is just what the wand looks like but it's just it's such a good mascara and I also find that it doesn't transfer on me either so I can wear this I can go to work where I'm you know getting all hot and um, it doesn't seem to go under the eyes at all next up I actually have this keychain that I picked up from Kmart and it comes with a charging cable on it as well so it blends into the little um, tassels you can, I just keep this on my keychain and then if I ever need to charge my phone while I'm in my car or if I'm at work it just comes with this really easy charger connector and yeah I just think that this is really this is just really cute and handy next up I have these three products from drunk elephant so I have the TLC glyconic night serum the day serum and the virgin marula facial oil so i actually got these for christmas in a gift pack from my boyfriend um, because i was really wanting to try out the products but the full size are quite expensive and then at christmas time they brought out like these i guess are uh, like travel size ones so i use this one and this one at night time so i apply the nighttime serum and then i'll just put the oil on top of the serum and in the mornings I will go in with the day serum as well these have changed my skin I absolutely love them and I will definitely be going out and picking up the full-size products once I run out of these mini ones skin is normally really dry and I have a lot of redness I found using these products has just taken all of that away not fully but um, it, I've definitely seen a lot of improvement in my skin as well as like the texture I will get dry patches on my face as well and this has just really helped I would really recommend these products I have a few others in the range that I have been using but these are by far my favorite I would definitely recommend picking these up in the travel size or in the bigger size if you were looking at trying out these products I'm definitely going to be getting the bigger products once these ones run out next favorite that I've been loving is actually this Yui Boom speaker first of all the color absolutely stunning I love the color of this um, which is actually one of the reasons that I was really drawn to this um, I was in the market for a new speaker but this color just sold it to me straight away the volume on this is actually really good i normally use this while i'm getting ready to go out or if i'm getting ready for work um things like that if i'm just around the house doing whatever i always have this playing in the background i never have it at full volume because um you only need it just up a little bit and the sound is perfect i can just imagine that this would be really good up at full volume but yeah i've really been enjoying this speaker and i think i picked this up on sale from um bing lee for about 120 dollars. so that was awesome but the color the color Oh my god, the color I'm obsessed. My next favorite is actually this phone case that I picked up from Mimco that recently came out. Um, and they do have the customization monogramming that they do now. So um, I decided to get my initials just on the back of that, if you can just see that. I love this phone case. I love rose gold. It's actually one of my favorite colors. And the black, I feel like it just really complements the rose gold. And yeah, I've really been loving this phone case. Okay, and my last favorite for the month of March is actually this diary that I picked up from Kiki K. Now, I have had this for um, about a year or so, but I actually wasn't using it until this year recently. Um, so pretty much, I've got my initials um, monogrammed on that one as well um they recently came out with a system where you can get um your initials monogrammed on anything that has this kind of um material so like wallets pencil cases um anything like that you can get um, the monogramming done i think for three letters it cost me 9.95 now the good thing about this diary is you can actually buy yearly inserts for it so this is what the inside of it looks like and then pretty much um for 2018 i did buy a new insert so i took out the old one and then i put in the new one so it just looks like this and then you can just go through um week to week and plan out your week 
just like this. Now the reason I actually started using this is because I am very forgetful with things. Um, so I like to write them down and I um, am that kind of person where I like to have everything planned out and organized and so that I know what's going on. I have found that this diary has really helped me feel more relaxed at the beginning of each week because I have everything written down that I need to get done or that I need to do. And it's just, yeah, it's really made me feel like I have my life organized. <laughs> I actually have some of these stickers as well that I picked up from a website on Etsy. Her name is... Um, stickers by Ashley K. So I just picked these up on Etsy. I think they cost me about $30 and there's so many on there. And I just use these week to week um, to plan my week out just to make it look a little bit more pretty. And yeah, I've really been enjoying these. Okay guys, so that is the end of my monthly favorites for the month of March. I really hope you guys enjoyed the products that I talked about. If you do have any questions um, that you want to ask, feel free to leave a comment below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!